To identify parenchyma and sclerenchyma tissues in plants, striped muscle fibers and nerve cells in animals from prepared slides, and to draw their label diagrams. Materials required Permanent slides of parenchyma tissues, sclerenchyma tissues, striped muscle fibers and nerve cells. Compound microscope. Procedure. Observe the permanent slides one by one under a compound microscope. Observation. 1. Plant tissues. A. Parenchyma tissues. The slide shows numerous cells. The parenchymatous cells are isodimetric. From isodimetric, it implies that almost all cells are equal in length and width. At the corners of the cells are present intercellular spaces. Each cell possesses a large central vacuole. Each cell has peripheral cytoplasm with a prominent nucleus. Each cell has thin cell wall. Inference Parenchymatous cells make simple tissues. Parenchymatous cells are living cells and a precursor of all other cells. These cells are present in the soft areas of plants such as stems, leaves, roots, flowers and fruits. The important function of these cells is photosynthesis or storage or helping in flotation. B. Sclerenchyma tissues Sclerenchymatous cells are dead cells. They have evenly thickened hard cell walls. They have very little or no protoplasm. They have hard, lignified secondary walls. They can be divided into two types. A. Fibrous sclerenchyma. B. Sclerides. Fibrous sclerenchyma. 1. They are highly elongated, narrow, and spindle-shaped with pointed end walls. 2. Adjacent fibers have simple oblique pits. 3. The only function they perform is to provide mechanical strength. Otherwise, these fibers are empty and dead. Sclerides. 1. They are highly thickened, dead sclerenchymatous cells which have very narrow cavities. 2. They may occur singly or in groups and are isodimetric in nature. 3. They are sometimes called grit or stone cells. They provide stiffness to the plant wherever they occur. Inference The sclerenchymatous cells, being thick-walled and having deposition of lignin, give mechanical strength to the plant. 2. Animal tissues. A. Striped muscle fibers. The slide shows large number of long cylindrical fibers that are enclosed in a membrane called sarcolemma. The fibers are non-tapering and wide. The fibers are multinucleated. The nuclei lie towards the periphery of the fibers. The cytoplasm of each fiber is called sarcoplasm. It is divided into large number of myofibrils. Each myofibril bears alternate light and dark band. Thus, these cells show longitudinal and transverse striations. The cells are surrounded and held by connective tissue. Inference 
The observation of slide shows the presence of striated muscles. It is because they are long cylindrical fibers having myofibrils which make striations tightly packed. The muscles give contratractability and strength to the voluntary muscle. These muscles work according to our will. They get tired when overworked. B. Nerve cell A nerve cell or a neuron has a large body called cyton. The cyton has a prominent nucleus. Cyton has cytoplasmic projections called dendrites. One of the dendrite is long and is called axon. A group of axons held together by a connective tissue is called a nerve. The axons are covered with medullary sheath or myelin sheath. At the nodes of Ranvier, the myelin sheath is absent. A membrane called neurilemma surrounds the sheath. The nerve endings are attached to muscles. Inference From the above observation, it is clear that a nerve cell of a large cyton with a prominent nucleus such that cyton has cytoplasm projections called dendrites. One of the dendrite is long and is called axon. The axons or fibers are packed together to make a nerve for the transfer of impulses.